Josh Martinez, Burning Sage. Purifi purifying blessing, right? Yeah, trying to get rid of all these evil spirits around here. I smell sage. Josh, what are you like? Ninety percent Native American, hundred percent. I'm Native, man. Native. So we've combined the symbolism here. That symbolizes the, the ascension of the prayers of the saints going up to the throne of God. This is it talks about in the Book of Revelations. Okay, so uh, and, and, and there is actually quite a bit of power in symbolism too. And he is Native American. There's more symbolism. The bars and the big bank of the market. I'm gonna walk all the way around, we'll come back in where all the signs are. I see a cowboy hat.
<clears throat> Salmon, sure enough. Dan Hill. So, we walked off for some good. Good to see you. Thanks. How's, uh, can I ask? We're live on Facebook. Let me get back here. I better switch sides. We'll get some light on you. Can you tell me anything? All right. Is it going to get dismissed today or tomorrow? No, we're actually out until the 20th. That's it. Because, uh, you know, different things, different, uh, uh, basically, you know, the government's been... Lighting and hunting. Not disclosing what they're supposed to disclose. And the court's finally seeing it. And understanding it. Uh, you know, she's doing what she's supposed to do. And making sure that everything's legit. And so she's giving, and she's giving the government more time to make sure that things are right. And uh, so we won't go back until the point. Do you get to go home? What's that? Do you get to go home? No, uh, my restrictions haven't been lightened or anything. Uh, Any motion to, to do any of that? Yeah, but I'm not really concerned about that. I'm yeah. Just, you know, I'm here to fight these things. And, and getting out of jail is not the end as well. Right. You, know, you don't go to the park, you don't go to the dance and then get stuck in the mud and then get out of the mud and go home. You go to the dance, get stuck in the mud, get out of the mud and then go to the dance. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. Are you in contact with your father? Uh, yeah. yeah. How, do you know how he is? Yeah, he's, I just spoke to him in the courtroom. And he's doing he's doing all right. Uh, of course, he'd like to go home, be free. But, uh, and he's being transported. He's being held in a grump at CCA. And so he's uh, he's just to come to court and back is, is 10 hours of transport. And when they transfer you, they have you in leg irons. Mm -hmm. They have your belly chain. You have your hands with uh, your hands mm -hmm. cuffed to the belly chain, and then they put a black box in your in between the cuffs, so you can't even move your wrist. And he's being transported that way from about three in the morning till court starts, you know, and then after he has to go back and do the same thing. So I did it for uh, two months, a little over two months back and forth from Toronto, and it's. It's difficult to do, but uh, he, he's strong. Is this all worth it? Absolutely. Absolutely is it worth it. I, you know, it's easier for me to say that now that I'm out, but I mean, for what, what, we're, what we're fighting for is uh, these to, to maintain these principles of freedom that have built up this country. That uh, the whole reason why we have our freedom in the first place. That's what we're, that's what we're defending. We're not defending whether we get to eat the grass on public land, that's part of it, but we're defending the, the rights and the liberties of the people, and not of just this country, but of the countries, all countries that are influenced by the United States, or that have used the United States as, a, as an example, um, that's what we're standing for, and that's what this, this truly means, and that's why it's a big deal. You feel like it was a setup from the start? It looks like a, a lot of things line up to where oh. they're just trying to take the land and move people off the t public domain. And there's a question of, of uh, what's owned, that uh, the grass and the water, and it's separate, like a miner would own the minerals in the ground. Yeah, well, I mean, you've heard me say this before. I haven't said it in front of the cameras for a long time, but all wealth comes from the earth. All wealth derives from the earth, from the land and the resources. I mean, the clothes that we wear, the food that we eat, the buildings we build, the cars we drive, the phones, the cam cameras, all of that came from the earth. And if you can control what comes out of the earth, you can control everything and control the people. They understand this. They, they have literally become modern day conquerors and removing the people who have rights to the land off so that they can claim it for themselves. There's a natural law that if you if you if you want to maintain your rights or if you want to take them from somebody else, that you have to claim them for yourself, you have to use them for yourself and beneficially use them, and you have to defend them. And they have done that to us. And the only way that for us to to 
get our uh, rights and maintain our rights and to and to get them back is to do the same thing. We have to claim them. We have to on January 7th. On January 7th, my family has claimed those rights for 141 years. And we now, and we have been for many, many years defending them. And we're going to continue to defend them. And right now, those cattle are out on the on the range that are our rights to be out there. They're out there using them, and we and we continue. We will continue to do that. We'll continue to claim them, use them, and defend them. So, how come the sheriff didn't stand up uh, for you? He, he, you know, I, I don't really have a huge problem with the sheriff's department uh, here. They eventually did what was right. They said they they found no so, crime. Uh, well, they Sheriff Joe jo Lombardo well, now. You, you go to the videos. You'll see we came to the fence, we peacefully assembled, and then what did the sheriff do? The sheriff took over. He, he, he applied his authority that the people gave him. He demanded that the BLM leave, and then he escorted us into, the, into their compound, escorted us while we retrieved the animals and brought them back to the ranch. And that's a beautiful example of the power that a sheriff has to defend the people's rights. But I will say this, the sheriff, if the people aren't willing to defend their own rights, how can you ask the sheriff to defend them? And I'll end with that. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Good to see you. Good to see you. I just got here. Oh, you did. I understand yeah. it's uh, closed for the day. Yeah, it's courts out until the uh, 20th. 20th. Yeah. Wow. 20th. Out till the 20th, right? Somebody. Let me find that out for sure. Out till the 20th, right? Yeah, not till the 20th. Okay, so back in court. <laughs> All right. And this is a the real court artist right here. Oh, you got me. And an artist. <laughs> no, uh, I'm, I'm on better on this side of the camera. I'm going to shut this off real quick. Tell everybody where, where they can find your work because I know you have a, a lot of stuff out here in Vegas. Well, yeah, I have a lot of stuff at this trial, the Bundy situation, and uh, I'm usually hired by the media. Uh, today, Channel 3 had me come down here. I've worked for Channel 5. Uh, Channel 8 near Las Vegas and then some network situations. Give us your name. Uh, Stuart Freshwater's my That's name. That's right. That's a cool name too. And uh, so Google that right there and uh, you'll, they'll find a site too. Yeah, you'll, uh, on Facebook uh, uh -huh. I have a website. But, and uh, you can see my drawings. You can Google court illustrations, court sketches and on Bundy's situation and you'll probably find some of my drawings. Thanks. You've done a great job. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. <laughs> see ya. All right. All right. We're going to end right now.